Welcome on board of your airline flight 123. We may seem like your average holiday carrier, but we may also carry fellow human beings who are forcefully deported from Europe to the most dangerous places all around the world. For their safety, it is important that you listen carefully to the following security instructions. Before you get comfortable and buckle up your seatbelt, take a minute to check if there is anyone who seems handcuffed or fixated by officers in uniform or in civil clothing. Usually they go first and sit in the last row, or they go in last and sit in the first row. If you see somebody who might be deported, try to speak with the person. Nobody can prohibit you to talk to them. Do not wait until it's too late. The sooner you talk to the person, the more time you have to react, should need be. If the person answers or otherwise says yes, here's what you can do. Please make sure you check with the person before starting the action. Number one, ask if you can call somebody. Do this before the plane starts moving. Often people are so rapidly and early in the morning taken from their homes or a detention center that they don't have time to make essential calls. If the deportation is un unavoidable, you can contact somebody at their destination, letting them know that the person is coming. Number two, raise awareness. Let the other passengers know about the situation. Try to get their solidarity. In case police tries to prevent you from talking to the person, do let others know as well. Raise your voice, but remain polite. Number three, see the pilot. Pilots are not supposed to take people against their will or transport people who are unfit to travel, for example, for medical reasons. The final decision about who is to fly with them or not lies with the pilot, not with the police. Let the pilot know that there is somebody traveling against their will. Demand that the pilot speaks to the person directly and in person. Let the pilot know that transporting the person against their will is a safety risk and violates recommendations by pilot associations. Number four, document and network. Document the case on your phone and ask others to do so too. Announce the pilot and crew that you will stop flying with the company and that you will inform the media immediately. Ask for the contact details of fellow passengers. They might serve as an important witnesses later on. Remember, smoking in the lavatories is illegal and so is deporting people to places where their freedom and life is in danger. As long as you don't sit down, the plane is not allowed to move. Just saying. Congratulations! You may have just saved somebody's life or given the person a second chance to appeal her deportation. Now sit back and enjoy your flight.